the audience and the actors. And that is fantastic because that's the most important thing in a movie. And sometimes directors forget that, you know, there's so much into the, the technical stuff that they forget they're actually working with human beings, you know, and creating a story for an audience. And for us, showing this, this movie in the United States is like another opportunity. It's a gift because we're blessed, but it's another opportunity to, to show this story uh, far beyond Mexico and far beyond our, our, our fronteras. Hello, Yanis. Right? Hi, hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, Eduardo. Thank you so Hola, much hi. for your time. Muchas gracias por su tiempo, pero vamos a hablar in, in English. So I'm going to start with you, Eduardo. What was like the inspiration for the script and this lucha, luchadores, the lucha libre? I know it's very important for the Mexican culture. No, that's, that's, a, that's a great question. Thank you for your time and space. And we're very excited. We're very excited that this movie is going to be showing in the U.S. Uh, movie theaters uh, this coming September 13th. And I, I'm extremely happy. The, and the inspiration behind this movie, um, it's obviously it's Lucha Libre, it's comedy, it's action, a little bit of drama. Uh, but the, the essence is or was right to to reinvent the Mexican superhero, to to let people know that we can all be superheroes, you know? We don't need, uh, like Yanni says, we don't need to get bit by a, a, a spider or, you know, fly. Um, everybody can be a superhero in their own family, in their own community, in their own workplace, you know? And that's how uh, eventually uh, societies and, and countries, uh, you know, start uh, changing and, and, and the change starts, right? So... That was that was a that was a finality, and I'm a I'm a big fan. You know, my first superheroes were obviously all these legends from Lucha Libre. We only had two channels in my in my old town here in Mexico when I was growing up, and those were the movies that they showed, and those were the movies that we we saw and loved. Uh, so it's just a, a it's a very a sincere homage to all that uh, all that cinema from the 70s, 60s. In Mexico, it was a golden age. It was amazing. And you, Yanis, when you read the script, what got your attention in your character, Panchito, Pancho? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was very excited when I first read the, the script. Um, I, I made a, a series called Blue Demon uh, a couple of years ago, where I play like a luchador, uh, Black Shadow, actually, uh, the friend of Blue Demon. And I always thought that it was a good idea to make a movie about luchadores, you know, about lucha libre. But I mean, I never found the, the crazy guy, you know, the crazy director to make that movie. And suddenly Lalo appears and says, hey, I have this idea and I have this movie. And I read the script and it was like, this is crazy. This is wild. This is like a, a completely you know, frenetic. And also I love that the movie was taking place in Tijuana. For me, that was the best element in the, in the story because Tijuana is like a little bit, uh, you know, like uh, this, this city from Batman, you know, like, but this is uh, the Mexican Batman, no? you know, like this, this very weird city. I love it. <laughs> you know, like Tijuana is that, exactly that, you know, for me, like, yeah, if, if a superhero has to be uh, somewhere in Mexico, it has to be taking place in Tijuana. And also, you know, another thing that I really loved was the relationship between the father and the son, you know, uh, Pancho and uh, El Alcón, Memo Quintanilla. For me, that was like three elements that were like fantastic about this movie because uh, no matter, I know it's about luchadores, but behind that, you know, the, for me, the core of the story is really the relationship between the son and his father and how these two characters um, interact with each other. And it was like beautiful. I think like, Somehow it was beautifully made. We have like a lot of problems, but all movies has problems. There's no simple movie, you know, that doesn't exist a movie that is simple. So it was like a mix of elements that were for me just perfect for this movie. Uh, talking about this, this relationship. So I'm going to come back to you, Eduardo. What was like difficult for you to find the chemistry between the father and the son? Because I think you picked two, the, both uh, actors. Yeah, uh, Guillermo and Yanis, they have the chemistry works. 
as a, a son and, and the dad and son relationship how was like that for you to find those those two actors and to find the chemistry on set yes yes no a uh, great question i mean I've been in this industry for more than 20 years. Uh, I produced a lot of films and documentaries, TV series, etc. Uh, but this is my first uh, film directing, right? Um, and I had the privilege to work with Quintanilla in another TV series. And you know, from from the get go, you you see uh, that he has a lot of experience, and um, you can you can feel it. And and Yanis, you know, who I recently met. Uh, I was like, I think he could be a good, you know, a good son for, you know, and 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 this part, this is part of a trilogy. So, um, in the back of my mind, I was also thinking, who can, you know, who can be the hero on the second part, you know, because this is a story about the father, and then is a story about the son. Uh, and to me, Yanis is not only a great actor; he's also a great human being, and um, I respect him very much and admire him. We have an amazing collaboration uh, uh, how do you say it uh, in the workplace I remember you know uh, he's very intense which I love right because um, a lot of actors they, they come and all right action boom um, but he goes I remember coming meeting breakfast you know tired from the last day and and he coming with me and saying Eduardo what do you think if for this line we change it this, you know and I was like Amazing, love it, you know. But I love his intensity, uh, his passion, and and you know when 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 somebody believes in a project, and when somebody and when when the whole crew, because it's not only the actors, you know, it's it's everybody, it's 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 everyone in the set, and when we're all together and we're all you know heading to that direction, that's when magic happens. And I think a lot of a lot of moments like that happen in this movie. And for you, Yanis, what was like your biggest challenge? On this whole movie, was La Lucha was make a, a taco. <laughs> you mute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, uh, I, I trained a little bit on a taqueria to prepare some tacos and stuff like that because I want to again to work uh, to make the, the 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 character be more realistic. You know, like to to have the audience this real feeling that this guy really works there. You know, that that's really his real job. And because obviously we all know actors, you know, and, and we know they are playing, but they have to have this suspension of this belief, you know, somehow they have to believe that you are this, this writer and you're this guy. And what Lalo said is true, you know, I'm, I'm very deeply involved in characters and also in the story because behind the characters, for me, the most important thing is the story we are telling. And I always try to work as an actor to push the story uh, harder and far beyond where we imagine, you know, because I think that somehow that's why I'm here, you know, otherwise they can have another actor. But what I can bring to the table, um, in addition to the, to, the, to the acting, is the understanding of the script and the, and the understanding of the scenes and, and, and the characters. And with some directors like Lalo, it's, it's like a party, you know, it's so playful and so enjoyable because he's a huge creator of content. You know, he has worked a lot of time for different documentary and vice and stuff like that. And he has this understanding of the, the audience very, very much. So for me, it was like an addition to his work mostly. Uh, I really, really enjoy working with all my fellow uh, actors, partners, you know, uh, Saeed, Ana Jimena, uh, all the actors who comes from different backgrounds, you know, one from telenovelas, other from uh, these uh, B uh, films, uh, Los Hermanos Almada and stuff like that. It's very diverse cast and it was like really, really playful. And during the, the, the shooting, it was completely like a party, you know, we were like, playing a lot. Eduardo didn't care that much about a lot of very technical details. He was really into the script, into the story. No matter if the light is the same light or the sound or the art direction doesn't is, is not exactly the same or some continuity stuff. He's not into that, you know, he's really into the story and the audience and the actors. And that is fantastic because that's the most important thing in a movie. And sometimes directors forget that, you know, there's so much into the, the technical stuff that they forget they're actually working with human beings, you know, and creating a story for an audience. 
And for us, showing this this movie in the United States is like another opportunity. It's a gift because we're blessed, but it's another opportunity to, to show this story uh, far beyond Mexico and far beyond our our, our fronteras. Yeah, like like Eduardo said, it's, a, it's not just a story about lucha libre it's, or luchadores. It's about the father the son relationship. And Absolutely. I also and I also want to mention about Ana Jimena Villanueva. She brings she's a tough character, but she brings a lot of heart to the story as well. What was about her that got your attention to to bring her to the story, Eduardo? No, that was it was funny because I was actually watching a, a, a TV series. In, in the platform and I saw her and I was like, wow, <laughs> she's amazing. She had, you know, she has very, she, she, she was doing a great role. And I, I called my, my casting director and I was like, can we, can we have a meeting with her? You know, <laughs> a, and after like, to me, it was very important to have a, a, a strong female leading role because she's also in, in the sequel. So uh, for me, it was very important to, to have an amazing cast. Uh, for for Yanis and you know for for Ana Jimena and Ana, Ana Jimena surprised me since the first meeting she she's full of joy she's full of good energy and she understood you know she understood that if you look at the cinema back in the 60s and 70s it was it was like a man's world you know women were uh more either they were the villains or they you know they would they would just support the main character And, and we wanted to change that, right? We wanted to bring it to the actual age where where we're all equal, you know, and we're all fighting for the same reason. We're all fighting um, for to, to become a better society, to become better human beings, each and every one of us. So, so she completely understood. She's hilarious, right? We had so many laughs with her on set. Um, and, 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 you know, she was, she was part of, part of the family and, um, And I, I love I love her. She 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 completed what we wanted to 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 transmit to to say. Yeah, I like that you mentioned that on the that, that her character needs to be strong and needs to he needs to have a voice, a very strong voice. Because I know that before, like before, <laughs> we used to be calladita, se ve más bonita, and, yeah. and then you can see that difference between when you go back to. Tijuana on the 70s, you see there, there the women are more calladitas, <laughs> and mm -hmm. then you come back to Tijuana, you see her like like fighting and showing her voice. That I love about the 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 contrast that you have. That was that was that was a point. You got it. Thank you. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. I did. So Yanis, uh, uh, you've been like playing different characters like for 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 your life, and if you have to give an advice. To a newcomer, actors that need want to pursue a career here in the U.S. and in Mexico or whatever, what advice do you give to them? I think that they have to believe in in their dreams. You know, sometimes uh, it's easy when you have work when you're working a lot like an actor. It's easy when the project comes to you. It's easy when uh, you're starting to get some recognition and you have more and more work. That is easy, and I, I can say that. Uh, acting, playing a character is not that complicated. You know, of course you have to study, but you have to 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 aguantar the the, the complicated moments when, when you don't have work, when you don't have money, when you're like starving, when you're not working. Uh, that are the most complicated moments for an actor because it's a very unstable uh, profession. And but you have to believe in, in what you're doing. You have to try to study a lot. And I will say that things will come, you know, at the end, uh, if you grab your dream and you say, I'm going to be an actor and no matter what happened in my life, I'm still going to be an actor. Even if I'm starving to death, are you still going to be an actor? Then you're going to become because you it's, it's a tough profession. It's hard. It's hard. Uh, but you have to believe. Yeah, that's right. I know. I know a lot of actors. Some of them have like two or three jobs. <laughs> on top of everything just to keep absolutely, going absolutely. until the big break, <laughs> break yeah, yeah, yeah. that's amazing and you Eduardo you've been also doing a lot of like big projects behind the scenes is your director debut any advice to give to to anyone want to become a big director <laughs> you mute 
you're mute. Sorry. Yes, uh, I I believe I, I I strongly agree with everything that Yanni said. Um, I will add to that that uh, for me, the best uh, teacher in life is life. Uh, so. Yeah, you can go to, you know, USC or UCLA or NYU, you know, studying the best uh, film schools. Um, and probably some mothers are going to kill me for saying this. But if I, you know, if my son wanted to be a director, I would tell him instead of I'm going to give, you know, give you the money for college, I'm going to give you the money so you can make a movie, you know, uh, because that's what. That, that's that's where you learn and, and in this movie particularly with all the adversities that we had and all the you know the limited budget and limited time uh, to film it uh, this is where I learned this is the PhD you know this 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 is where I learned the most um, and and to me that's that's it you know just just go and and if you want to do this for a living you know go there and show up and you know get the coffees for the people in set and do whatever it takes and you know be grateful and be appreciative and learn 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 and that's the only way you you know you'll you'll become or you'll be where you want to be and also i just want to add that this movie is an example of of that you know like this movie it's an example for students of uh you have to do the things, you know, you have to jump, you have to jump into the water and swim. Because if Eduardo will wait until the money come to make this movie and have the national funds and have the support and have all the funding, this movie will never be made. You know, that's the truth. You know, uh, it's a completely atypical movie. It's not what people on the platform used to, to buy or used to uh, fund. It's not what the, the, the federal funds the, uh, used to support, you know. It's not artsy, it's not like for, for festivals. It's just a different movie for audiences. And so this movie is an example of you have to, to, to be brave and to jump into the water and do it. No matter how you do it, you know, no matter what happened with the movie, something good will happen. And, you know, at the end, if you're doing it and if you're jumping, if you're if you're uh, believing in yourself, something good will happen. And see where we are. You know, we are like almost presenting the film in Hollywood in a couple of days. Who would have thought? You know, that's unbelievable. That's crazy. We were like a bunch of people in Tijuana, 10, 50 crazy people making a movie in Tijuana with no budget. And suddenly we are in Hollywood. What? You know, that's crazy. And that's the cinema, that's movies. And that's the beauty of, of, of art and of cinema. You never know. You really never know. You can make a film with your iPhone and suddenly you're in Cannes and the next day you're preparing a movie for Brad Pitt. That's the beauty of, of, of cinema. But you have to do it. And thank you for jumping in the water with me, Yanis. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it was a cold water, but uh, still jumped. Very... <laughs> yeah, you never know what. You like, never what, know. You yeah, really never what if you? What next for you? And and that. But you have the, to do it, no? You have you to have do, to do it. it. Like me, Absolutely. I never imagined from Brazil here, in Hollywood, <laughs> talking to all these amazing, old p old actors like legends and you guys there like, new newcomers and everybody not newcomers but like. You were new on directing, you know what I mean? Like bring these yeah, different absolutely. movies. I just yeah. want to thank you so much for your time. Muchas gracias por yeah. su tempo. Muito course, obrigada. A lot of success. Can I wait obrigado. for the second and for the third one? Don't forget yes, to, yes. to invite me. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> el, 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 how come? How come? Alcon. Alcon. Sorry. Falcao. <laughs> como, como diz em português? Falcão. O Falcão. Okay. Thank you so much. Guys. Thank you very much. Wow. Bye. If you like to support or continue to support Jano Camera, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos.